what it do if you're new welcome to the crew i've missed you guys and i put out a post and i asked you guys what did you want and you guys answered it and you gave me what you wanted and that is my hero academia theories and I'm excited because I love My Hero. I think it's a great show. I think there's a lot of questions and answers that we want, we want to get into. So let's just hop right into it, right? Six My Hero fan theories. Starting off with number six. Basically, Dark Shadow is a no What? Basically, he was a villain that infiltrated the UA Academy to leak information. And Togoyami's Dark Shadow is a twin that basically died in his womb and they basically bioengineered him, like how you know the doctor messes with things and turned him into a Nomu. And that's why he kind of has that freakishly bird head. Ooh, that one's a stretch. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, I don't think so, not at all. I mean, I get playing the part, like Hawkins played the part of being a villain, but I just don't see it because obviously he's done a lot of good as a UA student, you know, taking down villains too. So I don't think they would go that far. I don't think, cause there is a traitor. Personally, I do not know. I'm an anime watch only. So I don't know what's the traitor, but I don't think it's him. I would be really surprised if it is though, but nah, I'm gonna have to give this a, it's not it. Number, Five. Basically, there are no quirkless people. And everybody has a quirk, but some are very different. Like some people have the inability to quit. Some people have being able to pay attention more, like being super observant and stuff like that. Like everybody has some type of quirk. It just might not be powers. It could be just something regular, like, like oh, maybe you pay attention really well. And I think that's... That's really stupid. I'm not gonna lie to you guys that, nah, that's that's dumb. I, <laughs> I, that probably is the worst theory I've heard. So no, it's a media no, cause I've, why would that even make any sense? The quirk to never give up, to pay attention, the quirk to be observant, to be a good listener, like nah. Nah, I feel like it's just some anomalies like how we have in this world where some people will have like certain disabilities or whatever the case is. It's just sometimes it's out of their control. But I think it is, there is a reason why people have quirks and it comes from somewhere. I don't know if the author is ever going to dive deep into it and see, ooh, why these people have it. Does it come from a tree or a fruit? Or years ago, there was one person that came from a certain place. I mean, I think as a person who loves anime and wants to know the deep background knowledge, I definitely want to know why did they get it? How did they get it? Is it from generation, generation, generation? Why can't some people have it? Is it a gene thing? You know what I'm saying? Just a little basic stuff like that. But, you know, that's for another theory that we'll figure out. Number, 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 number four. four. Aaron, I mean, mm. I said Aaron. All Might will basically get fixed by Aerie. She'll basically rewind his powers, wind himself to his former self, and become the most powerful hero again. All Might gets his dignity, he gets his pride, and he's back. Who? I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really, I, I didn't even think of that. Technically, she really could, but like, oh my gosh. I mean, the thing is about her power, I think it definitely does shorten your lifespan from what I heard. It definitely can take away some things, but I mean, All Might's like older. I think he's like in his like 40s or something. He's like up there. So as you see in the recent My Hero episodes, I mean, the quirk doesn't last long, you know? Deku's supposed to be the last one, but All Might's still kicking and he's old because most people who are, you know, one for all users died very young off some, like whether it was the quirk was just too much they died from all for one, just something like that. But like I said, All Might's different. I mean, he's older and he's still kicking. And man, I'm, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I just, it just surprises me because I just, I don't know why I haven't thought of that. Maybe most people have, but it could really be a thing where he comes back and he kind of does his, you know, 
I'm back here to save the day, but then kind of defeats the purpose of Deku kind of being the main best hero and Abby became the best hero of all. So, I mean, I mean, we'll see. We'll see, hopefully. Number three. Deku is a clone for all for one. Deku does not have a father and that he's a clone of all for one. The show has a million backup plans. Deku being a clone for all for one on a safeguard, his goal, if Toya dies, or Shigaraki basically dies, Deku will kind of take his place and he'll just like, you know, it's like one of those activation codes, just like sleeper 46, wake up. And he's just like, ding. Um, hmm. I feel like that one is really a stretch too, because it's just like, I mean, Deku grew up with his mom. Where did he have that, you know, chance of being a clone unless like his mom is low key been a villain? You know what I mean? Like his mom was out here just being like, yo, give me your money, yo. Come on, put the money in the bag. Like, I don't, I don't see that. I definitely don't see that being a thing where, you know, he somehow at some point was just like switched out and they were just like, you will work for me and you'll keep it quiet. So it's finally time to rise. I mean, it would be kind of cool. It would be super interesting to have a plot twist like that. But you know how most animes go. They're not going to do all that. They're not going to put that type of, you know, cliffhanger and big boom in your face. Like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I mean, it wouldn't, I want to say it wouldn't sell, but it'd just be something that's just, a lot of people wouldn't like it. People would just rage and rally and be like, no, no, no. So, I mean, it's a really cool idea, but eh, nah, not it for me. Not it for me. Not it for me. I mean, it'll be cool though, but I mean, what can you do? Number, number, number two. Someone from the My Hero, I guess, team or students or a very important character is going to die. And I have a couple theories about who's going to die, obviously. Um, I think, you know, with Bakugo, I really thought he was out that window. Last season, I, I thought he was like, you know, he's about to hit him with the, put him on a t-shirt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I thought he was gone. Um, I definitely think someone that's going to play a really big role, like someone that we all care about. Like, I definitely think All Might is another one. I think they might try to kill off All Might. Um, I don't really think they're going to kill any of the main girls. Just because they already kind of killed off Midnight. And, you know, it was, I mean, I, I think it was unnecessary as hell, but I mean, what, what are you gonna do? I mean, it's for the show, but they, I didn't expect to kill off Midnight. Um, who else am I thinking that they might kill off that? I don't think they're gonna kill off Todoroki. He's kind of, uh, he's kind of like a background character in a way. Like, he's too much like, uh, he's not like the supporting, like, even though he has his moments, like, yeah, I get it. The Todoroki stands like, what are you talking about? Todoroki's number one, he's number one. But like, come on guys, like, let's be honest. Like Todoroki has his background moments where sometimes you're like, oh yeah, he's right there. I forgot Todoroki's there, you know, his presence. is So I don't think it's going to be that much of a big impact. I think they might do something with Deku's mom. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think they either might hurt her kidnap or just hurt her or something where like, it hurts Deku, you know? They're going to hit us where it hurts. And I think, you know, when it comes down to just, you know, people in Deku, All Might's family, um, one of the students, I don't think the teachers as much, cause you know, we don't, we're, the teachers are okay, but we're not close with the teachers. So they're definitely gonna hit us where, where it hurts, where it's gonna break our hearts. So, nah. Actually, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm definitely gonna say yeah, because they have to kill someone off. They did last season. They have to hit us where it hurts. I mean, they want to hit it with a bang from what I heard from the manga. Like I like I said, I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, they definitely gonna gotta move. And number one. R for one is Deku's daddy. That's his daddy. Mm, I've been thinking that for the longest myself. I've been thinking about the longest. You know, often what they said is basically long-term goals of manipulation means to his end. Basically, R for one probably fell in love with Deku's mom. Um, 
But he probably remember, he's like, man, I got my goals and my objectives. Like, I'm really trying to rule the world. Like, I, I can't be sitting down having a good life. No, that ain't me. And so he probably had Deku. And then he saw that his son probably had his quirk, which is Deku. And he was just like, get over here. Give me that. And that's probably why maybe Deku is not, has a quirk. I think that's part of the reason why it's gone. Because of, you know, all for one. Because I can really see him being the dad and just, you know, like I said, his dad is such a mystery. And like I said, all for one is such a mystery as well, where obviously we know that a little bit more of his backstory, like basically one for all is his brother and they're trying to stop him. But like, what did he do before he became a villain? Because he wasn't a villain forever. He became a villain when he was kind of like, way up there like older like all my days like in his 40s or something so i definitely think him and deku have some sort of connection that we probably don't know about and i really do believe that that's his dad I, that would be a real big like hit us like <gasps> like how we figured out toya was basically end of our son i mean we all were like <gasps> i was like that too i was like <gasps> but i mean i was kind of putting the pieces together that kind of showed their backstory a little bit and i you know, you just saw the pictures and they matched. But those are the six fan theories for My Hero Academia. Did you like them? Did you think they're like, eh, they're all right. Me personally, I feel like there could be a lot better. But, you know, we're always going to get better. and We're going to figure out a lot more. You know, we're going to keep watching these episodes as they come out. Obviously, One Piece is dropping gear five soon. So I can't wait to talk about the One Piece theories. Jujutsu Kaisen's coming. One Punch Man is coming. Like all these shows are coming back and we have so much to react to and figure out what's gonna happen throughout these episodes and just talk about it. So follow my TikTok. I make plenty of TikTok content. I make a lot. Also, what are you doing? You haven't subscribed yet? Don't you want more of these? They're bangers. We're gonna keep pushing them out week by week and we're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep growing. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget, uh, uh, you better click on the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give me a comment too. Tell me what you like and what do you want to see more of? Because I love to see your opinions and talk about it. That's why I put up my posts because I love talking to you guys. You're my family. We're on the A train going places and you guys are the passengers. And you know what I'm saying? I got to look back at my passengers and be like, yo, you good? What, what you need? You need some water? You need some food? Oh, you want to talk about this? You know what I'm saying? We're a family and we're going to keep going. So without further ado, I'll see you later in the week. Let's hop aboard the A-Train and let's go places. Peace.